This is Joseph Lebrecht, and in this video, we're going to demonstrate how to use a splash screen within a mobile Air for Android application using Flash Builder and the Mobile Flex framework. So there are primarily two reasons why you would want to actually use a splash screen in a project like this. The first one would be simply for branding and to show the user that you know something's going on when they're loading your application. But the second reason is more practical and that is because it takes the Flex Framework a little bit of time to load up when a user clicks on your icon and loads your application on the device. So having a splash screen in place sort of covers up that load time a little bit. So let's go and um, have a look at our icon or our splash screen first of all and you can see the splash screen here and it's basically a demonstration splash screen for Android it's measuring 480 by 800 pixels uh, simply because the target device that we're using is a Droid 2 or a Motorola Droid and both of those are both 480 by 800 basically you can just export this as a ping or a JPEG or anything that you prefer for your particular application. So back inside of Flash Builder, uh, we can see our project structure, and we've already created this project. Um, we've got our basic uh, main project file here. We've also got our initial view created. But what I've added here is an assets folder, and that's where I've added my splash screen, and it's called splash.ping. I've chosen to use a ping in this case, but again, you can use JPEG, um, that's fine. You can do all sorts of compression settings to it to keep the file size down, so forth and so on. So let's actually pop into design view here, and we'll be able to look at some of the things that are going on within our properties panel. So this is, these are the properties for our view navigator application. Uh, common properties involve a splash image, splash scale mode, a title, and application DPI. The two that we're going to be concerned with in this lesson are splash image and the scale mode. So let's go in and, um, you know, we can search for this particular image within our, our project here. And again, this is going to replicate exactly what we see over here. So let's go into source, into our assets folder, and we can choose splash.ping and open that up. We're not going to see anything reflected in design view here. So let's go into source. And we can see in source here that we've added this splash screen image tag to our view navigator application and we're embedding the splash ping from our assets folder. If we do a quick run of this project, we can see that it loads up for a second and then goes away. Right, so not a very good demonstration. However, there are some other properties that we can deal with here to make that last a little bit longer. Um, for instance, there is a splash screen minimum display time that we can use. It accepts a number, and that number is in milliseconds. So let's say we want it to be on screen for at a minimum of two seconds. We'll run this again. And we can see this time it lasts for a full two seconds before it loads up our first view. You might also have noticed that it's not sized particularly well for our screen. There's a little bit of space at the bottom that's demonstrated right here. And that's because we've got some inconsistencies with the screen size and the size of our image. But that's also fixable. So if we go to splash screen scale mode, there are a few different scale modes we can actually uh, do here. We have letterbox, none, stretch, and zoom. None is the default, and that was is what was just demonstrated. If the actual screen resolution is different from the size of our image, you're going to get, you know, some inconsistencies like that. 
if we do letterbox and we run you can see it centers it but we still get you know that letterboxing on the top and the bottom so that's not good in our case either let's go to zoom next and if we run it with zoom selected we can see that that looks pretty good what it basically does is it zooms the entire image in while restraining proportion to actually show or fill up everything on the screen however you know it may actually cut off some of that lettering so let's choose the final one here which is stretch we'll save this and compile and what stretch does is stretch the actual image to the application window so it'll fill it up but it may cause distortion